Okay, so for Monday, I'm gonna flip this like this. I am gonna go in with my G210 now. G210, yes. And I'm gonna choose the ingredient or the recipes that I wanna make. So on Monday, I'm gonna write in here that I'm gonna do the, did I even write these down on? I don't think I did, I didn't. Hi everybody, this is April with Plan With April, and if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. You knew I was gonna sing. <laughs> Don't make me sing. So this is my Walmart weekly planner. It's my weekly meal planner. That's what I've been using it for. It is a cute A5 planner. I've already got the month of April filled out. I did that video before this one, and now we're gonna be popping into the week of April 1st through 7th to do meal planning. And I'm setting this one up a little bit different than I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take out Saturday and Sunday from the list because what I'm gonna use this for is my have on hand, so current, you know, I in stock need to get. So that'll be part of the grocery list. I'm also gonna try really hard this week not to spend a whole lot at the grocery store. I have a pantry feel, filled, filled, filled with food, so I need to use it. Going in and I'm just going to draw, I'm gonna do it in pencil. Oh shoot, let's just do it in ink. Let's just do it in ink. Let's not do it in a 10, let's do it in a G25. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just make a column. Four ingredients. Ingredients. Like special ingredients that I will need for whatever dish I am making. And then I'm gonna go in with make sure should we go with polka dots these are really cute I like these these feel like April Fool's ish and instead of doing the nice tear or I mean the the palette knife I am just gonna go in here and tear off a couple pieces I don't know why I did that accent that was weird a couple of pieces of wash tape and lay those down covered the two that's fine that's okay not gonna worry about it okay so for Monday I'm gonna flip this like this I am gonna go in with my G210 now G210 yes and I'm gonna choose the ingredient or the recipes that I want to make so on Monday I'm gonna write in here that I'm gonna do the did I even write these down on I don't think I did I didn't Let's do the barbecue balsamic mushrooms. Actually, it's grilled. So let's do balsamic garlic, because can you ever have a too much garlic? Grilled. And what I'll do is mushrooms. What I'm gonna do is I will buy the regular white mushrooms and I'll buy the little brown button mushrooms. I'll marinate both of them in the sauce and then I will put them on skewers like shish kebabs and then, and then grill them. So I think that'll be amazing. I know I will need to get fresh cilantro for this. And of course, mushrooms, because I do not have those on hand, but everything else I do. So that'll be a very easy recipe. And then on Tuesday, 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 I would like to try the Brussels sprouts and pear salad. That just sounds amazing. All of these recipes are available on my Pinterest page. The link is down below in the description. So if you want to try these recipes as well, let me know what you think. 
I know I'm going to need <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I'm going to plant some Brussels sprouts this year in our garden because I, we go through a lot of Brussels sprouts, something I never thought I would say because growing up, I didn't even know what they tasted like. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a thing. We didn't have Brussels sprouts. I also want to try the cilantro lime coleslaw. And because I'm already purchasing cilantro for the mushrooms, I can use it for this too, which is amazing. And then the only thing I need to get for this is cabbage. And it shows green cabbage as the recipe, but I think whichever one is on sale will probably be the one that I pick up because easy peasy. And it looks like the Chinese chicken salad also uses coleslaw. So let's go in here. That way we're combining ingredients for the week. It also makes it really easy to save at the grocery store. And this is going to be a, ch a Chinese chicken salad. And instead of chicken, I will probably use either tofu or I have some, I don't know what it's called. It's like strip tofu. It looks like chicken. You soak it. It's dehydrated. It is amazing. So since I already have that and I don't have tofu, I will, I will most likely use that, but I do need to get some mandarin oranges. And then I've got black sesame seeds. I've got white sesame seeds and then the coleslaw. So that will be super duper easy. And then I think, why don't we do some Thai chicken lettuce wraps and I'll use the rest of that chicken chicken for that. So I know for that one, I'm going to need some of the butter lettuce. Those are my favorite. If they don't have butter lettuce, I have also used romaine. Just make sure just make sure you wash it really, really well. So then down below, uh, I'll need to do my pantry. So I'll do in stock. And grocery list. And then once I get everything figured out there, I will definitely let you guys know next week what my budget was and how much I spent. I'm hoping to spend less than $25 this week at the grocery store. That is the goal. <laughs> that That is the goal. We'll see if I can do it. Let me know if you're going to try any of these recipes. Um, again, down below, click on the link to my Pinterest page. You'll find all of them there. And I will meet you down in the comments uh, as soon as this goes up. I love you. I hope you have the very best day. Eat well and be happy. Bye.